What is peace? Is it truly just a lack of combat? Is it years of sitting quietly in a garden surrounded by flowers? Is it watching over a kingdom that you are able to call your own? Is it the completion of almost every task known to man? Is it the ability to watch numbers of resources steadily rise as you watch your collection grow? Is peace something that can be obtained easily, without work? Or is it something difficult to obtain? Years spent watching time tick by while you watch your flora perform every single task imaginable without outside help from polluting machines or computers tangled in cables and pipes. Imagine that through your hard labor, your cultivation of flowers, your manipulation of mana, your knowledge of the mechanisms of the world, and redstone, you could obtain that dreamlike state. Imagine that you could have everything you could ever desire automated with flora. Flora, some magic, and your own ingenuity. With the help of the in-game book, the Lexico Batania, your dreams will become a reality. It holds the secrets of elves who have long ago fled from this world, as well as possible clues to the origins of the very world itself. For anyone with a basic knowledge of redstone, and the creativity to put it to use. This book offers answers to nearly every problem known to man, without the need to use foreign schools of magic or machinery. The Lexico Britannia contains instructions on how to perform ne nearly every task that one could ever need, with only the use of what's in it and available in the world of Minecraft, assuming you're up to the task of putting them together in ingenious ways. The school of botany does not solely apply to those with a knack for complex thought processes. And in the Garden of Glass, no one can hear you scream. You're alone in space, mostly void, partially stars. How exciting. Dear listeners, I welcome you to the realm of Britannia, and welcome to the Garden of Glass. Hey, Mix2727 here, and welcome to my very first episode of, of my Batania Garden of Glass Survival Minecraft series. Uh, if you didn't. So yeah, in the intro I sort of explained a bit. Explained using the in-guide, um, the in-book intro. Somewhere here. Yeah, welcome to Batania. Just read off of that. Wanna read it there? Go ahead. Um... So yeah, so for those that don't know, Batania is a mod made, made by Vasky, and it focuses around uh, the magical side of plants and flora and a little bit of tech, magical tech too. Uh, and yeah, and the, and the Garden of Glass is basically an add-on extension to that, where it allows for the mod to act as a skyblock aid. So you're basically able to get all the ores and get yourself uh, started and basically play as a skyblock using only Botania. So here I was able to make a oak sapling using a recipe for living uh, using living root, which you can find hanging off of the original uh, block that you spawn on. I already dug up all of them and then converted it all to living... Uh, and then got all the living root, and then we just check out the recipe for living root equals a sapling, and one also turns into floral fertilizer. And I'm gonna be using that floral fertilizer to see if I can get some flowers. And oh my gosh, that's perfect actually. Two misco white flowers. Oh, and there's more! Woo! Alright, so there's brown and there's green. So now with these uh, misco white flowers, I can do uh, it's basically flowers that are main focus on Batania. What is this? Ooh, pretty. So yeah, so I, obviously Batania isn't the only thing in this mod. I uh, in this little tiny mod personal mod pack. I have Batania. I have chisel. I have carpenter's blocks, armor's workshop, which will be really exciting to play with. But yeah, the main focus on this episode, um, in this series, is 
doing everything using Batania. I'll be focusing solely on Batania and any other mods like Chisel, Carpenter's Block. So just be um, decoration aid. Basically, it's so stuff can look pretty. <laughs> so yeah, so um, the focus of the focus in this mod is flowers. Well, yeah, and you're basically able to woo more stuff. Yeah, so you're basically able to um. Everything that you can make focuses around flowers. And you generate mana through flowers. You use flowers to utilize that mana to make stuff. You can also utilize that mana to make other things like runes, which again are used for flowers and other sort of artifices. But the way you start off is by making a... Wait a bit. Making a... Musical items, basics. Uh, petal apothecary. So in order for a botanist to create plant life that that can do its bidding, one would need special means of infusing plants with mystical energy. Luckily, the petal apothecary does just that. And then the petal apothecary. This block, when placed in the world and given some water by use of a water bucket, will accept any mystical petals thrown at it, releasing their energies. Once it has Set in the correct petals in, throwing some seeds in it will finalize the process. Tossing in the full bucket will also fill the recipient with water. And then it explains that this is how you create all the plants and all the flowers for a functional and generating flora. Uh, one can place slav in the block, serve as a breeze. Ooh, that's cool. And then tossing vines will get an overgrown visual. That's cool. So yeah, so that's how you make the Petal Apothecary. But the thing is though, is that I'm gonna need wood. <laughs> no, then I, <laughs> I'm gonna need some wood. And in order to do that, I need to get this oak sapling to grow. Um, So I can convert this to Mystical White Petals, because I'll be using that to make the first flower, which I'll show in a bit. Right, let's get some cobble. The way you get- actually no, I can do it from here. So yeah, the way you get cobblestone here is you have to just right click and you get pebbles. And you have to right click with an empty hand. And if you get four petals, uh, four pebbles, put it in a crafting table and one block of cobble. And I'm gonna need... what? One, two, three, four, seven. So that should be enough. There we go, seven. And now I just need to wait for this to grow. I think the living we can also use as normal bone meal. Yep, there we go. See if we can get some. So we got the seed from there. We got a flower. Another seed. Yep. I can also do. Alright, nice. And as you saw in that intro, I just, um, I made up, I just, uh, got one chunk and just, like, covered it with cobble so that now I have, like, a decent space to work with and I don't need to worry about falling off. <laughs> so now I just, Break the leaves, see if I can get some sapling. Oh. Did I just... Oh, I just broke the... I just... Oh, fudge. Um... Oh. Hmm. Can I cheat that back in? I don't even know. <laughs> Oh, well, I, I, I screwed up. Wow. Wow. Uh, I, I guess I can play without it. I kind of feel bad that I am, but I guess I can continue. <laughs> I guess that's my mistake. I'll live with it. You know what? Yeah. I screwed up and now I'll have to pay the consequences. 
Oh, I won't be. Ah, uh, man. You know what? First thing I'll make now is a chest, <laughs> and I will put the Lexical Batania in there, and I will make sure that I do not lose the Lexical Batania. Because the only way to get one back is either through, well, getting a book, which I will not be able to get anytime soon, <laughs> or by clicking a sapling on that mana flash. But since I destroyed the mana flash... Oh, man! <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I'll... I'm confident enough in my... Um, Skyblock and Batania stuff that I won't need to worry too much about that. Let's drop down here. Let's make... Actually, wait, here. Crafting table. And then a chest. And in that chest, I will keep the Lexico Batania. And now it's safe. Woo! Alright, so now I can do this. And then let's use green. You can tell I've been playing with Batania for a while that I really I I know I pretty much know what to do by now. I already have a plan set up anyway as well. Um Alright, sorry for that quick cut. Um yeah, I just need to do something quickly. Um, I think it said in the manual that if I right click water so Ooh, ooh. That's why I blocked up that hole. <laughs> there. Bowl of wa bowl of water. Then one, two, three, four. Woo! Pure daisy. Alright, now with the Dirt. Let's put this down here. Here. Not in the corner. Uh, let's put it down here. And then, actually, no, that's way too close. Put it down here. And then we'll get some more cobble. Yeah, maybe I will cut here, and then once I get enough cobble to... Actually, wait. Wait, 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 wait. No, I won't. I won't. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Wait. Are right you? 61. Oh, yeah. Okay. I have more than enough cobble now. Uh, so let's surround this. Actually, I can put that there. I already have cobble set then. Perfect. Nope. 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 Perfect. Then I could make a, f uh, a furnace. You know what? I'll cut right now until it's bright enough for me, for you. If I, it's bright enough for you guys to see properly. Because you won't be able to see anything right now. Yeah. Welcome back. Um, yeah, so I just made a torch. Figured, uh... I couldn't wait to do anything, so I'm like, alright, no, I'll just make a torch. Light up this place a bit. Now you can see. Yay, you can see me now. Woo! Uh, so yeah, so... Let's get another... Let's get another tree going. Ooh, okay. Bit sketchy there. Careful now. Yeah, oh man, I'm so, uh, I'm so pissed that like, I broke the mana flash. But it's okay. I'll be fine. I'll be okay. I will manage. I'll find my way. I have no idea. Nope, nope. <laughs> I f Where did I hear that? Song before I don't even know what's you know what I think it was uh Easter egg I think it's an Easter egg you know what let me just finish okay, wait, 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 wait. I need to I need to check this now because I think 
I saw it once. I saw how to do it once. I think if you hold the Mexico Batania open to here. I don't know if you will be able to hear it. Come on. Am I just gonna like stare into this until like something happens? Okay, this is really bothering me now. I'm gonna cut now, and <laughs> when I find out how to do that easter egg, I will be right back. And I'm back. <laughs> uh, so it's not even here. Oh, I, I hope this works, and I really hope it's not copyrighted. Oh, it's from Kill la Kill. That's cool. I didn't watch the anime, but I know of it. But, okay. Whew, okay, okay, okay. Uh, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. Don't lose your way, your mind, we have to be. Well, that was cool. I really hope that it was recorded. Okay, yes, yes it was. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Woo! Alright, 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 alright. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting a bit excited. <laughs> but I found- Woo! <laughs> That's actually really cool. I found- I found- Well, I didn't find it. I listened to a video. <laughs> I'll probably link the video. Give him credit, because... I don't think- he, I don't know if he was going to find it or something, but... That was- He was- He was- That was a video that I watched in order to find this, so... Yeah. So now, with the pure daisy, I have... Do I... No, I do not. I thought I... Did I put it here? Oh, yeah. So, I have some oak logs. I can probably burn one for... Co for a... Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, no, it's fine. Okay. So, I'll get uh, charcoal. That's how I got the other one here. I'll uh, get some cobble. Do I have some? I have like. S so I don't need too much. I just need enough to make eight. That is not eight, that's six. That should be good. Yep, okay. There we go. Uh, so now I will smelt this into stone, and I will get myself- actually, no, I'm gonna need more, don't I? Don't worry, I'll explain why. Um, so what the living- what the pure daisy does is it converts any stone or logs right beside it into living wood and living stone. And living wood and living stone are used to make um, basically more more, uh, more artifacts from Botania. Ooh. <laughs> uh, let's see if maybe I can get this tree to grow. I'll get more. Yeah, I'll leave that. I'll <laughs> I'll leave that be. <laughs> uh, I have I do have three. I could make a wand of the forest. How do I do that? Wand of the forest. That is living living wood. Oh, okay. So I won't be able to do that just yet. <laughs> I'm gonna need more live. I'm gonna need more wood, and I don't wanna use. The living roots, because those can be used for other stuff like, no wait, floral fertilizer. So while 
Let's craft it. Well, while the stone is smelting, I'll just use the floral fertilizer. What the floral fertilizer does is, um, it's like normal, um, bone meal, but instead it generates these mystical flowers. And these mystical flowers are a very important part of creating the functional and generating flora. So let's, let's put all of this in here, especially Lexicon. Because uh, last thing I want to do is to fall and... Oh, I don't have a pickaxe. Oh, yes, I can make one though. So now with those white particles, you can see... Okay, wait, let's see if I can... You see those little white particles flying out of the... Uh, flying out of the stone? The pure daisy inside. Mm, wait, let's see if I can, let's see if I can parkour. Oh, no, wait, I'll just float up here and, woo! Okay, so pure daisy, what, what it's doing now is converting the stone into living rock. And the living rock can be used, uh, to make something called a mana pool. Now, what the mana pool does is, right, while we're doing that, let's get two sticks, log, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what the what the mana pool does is it's basically where you house the power of Batania, the mana. But the thing is, is that it first creates a diluted mana pool, and then the diluted mana pool you have to toss into another mana pool with mana to turn it into a normal mana pool. So I have to end up making two diluted mana pools, get some mana generated. And then I have normal mana pools. So charcoal. So there. Living wood. Woo! Okay, so let's get some one, two, three. One, two. Woo! Cobble. Okay, uh will I be able to make the Alright. I'll leave that for so we have some living rock, which we can mine up now. Six, seven, eight. And then that's smelting. See, and now you make a diluted mana pool. Diluted mana pool, I'll put down... Let's see, let's get some dirt. That could work, and then it'll go into here. And then the way you... um, So, I've been talking about mana this whole time. The way you make mana is using some... uh, Generating Flora. So if I open up the Lexico Britannia, go into Generating Flora, I'll... I can read the introduction to... I uh, think. Generating mana should be at the top of your priorities for any botanist. Luckily, there are, there are, there's an array of generating flowers willing to do the job. These flowers, at, as their name shows, generate mana, both passively and actively. Unless stated otherwise, all generating flowers generate mana passively under certain circumstances. All generating flowers, alike, the functioning flowers, contain a small buffer of mana. Standard rules for mana reading applies. Right-clicking with a wand of forest will update the mana readings. This mana will be stored in the closest mana spreader around. And it continues, continues on about binding, and I'll explain that in another episode. Uh, but yeah, so mana spreader, it mentioned that. Mana spreader. This thing. Oh, that's cheap. <laughs> so the mana spreader is, is that, um, the generating flora, so something like a day bloom. Day bloom? What the day bloom does is, um, in the sunlight, it'll generate some, uh, it'll generate mana, and from that, it'll generate mana from sunlight. And then that, yeah, it, gen it generates mana from sunlight. It's basically all it does. 
But the thing is, because it is a passive generator, it'll die in two Minecraft days. So the aim is once I make a day bloom generate some mana, I'm gonna want to switch immediately into something that generates stuff actively. Oh, whoops. Well, now I have that. I forgot to convert it to floral fertilizer. Um, that's fine. I do need some more... Um... Seeds. Oh, I thought for a second it generated a mescal flower. That would have been cool, but... There. So let's get some more seeds, and then let's convert one, two, three, four into floral fertilizer. Come on, let's get some orange. Orange, no. Orange, orange. No! Ah, oh, man. Okay. Well. Ah. So I don't have any orange mana petals, which is disappointing. Because that's one of the main ones I need to make a day bloom. Uh, what about a nightshade? Nightshade is the same where it just generates passively at night. Let's go. So black, black, gray, purple. I could make... I could also make nightshades. But I think... Are the nightshades... Um, it, the, the, it's a great thing and a bit of a... It, well, okay, it's... Nice mix of both. Basically, <laughs> it's a great thing that Madonna gets updated regularly because then any bugs that occur just get squashed instantly. Problem is... Uh, it becomes a bit hard to follow. So I think um the nightshade generates uh I'm gonna skim skimming this. Oh no, it generates the same thing as the day bloom. Okay. So I can make a nightshade. And and then start generating matter. But I won't do that in this episode, actually. <laughs> I'll do that in the next episode. So yeah. Uh, let's do this here. Alright, so if you like the video, please hit the like button. Feel free to comment and ask questions uh, in the comments down below. And subscribe for more videos. Uh, I would have already met. I would, uh, I'm gonna continuously mention this in my videos and it might get a little bit annoying, but this is a pre-recorded video and which will be, uh, yeah, this is a pre-recorded video. It'll be released way after I finish recording and editing this. So Botania will be out of date when I release this, but it's gonna be up to date when I'm, when I'm playing it, which might be a bit weird, but that's how it's gonna work. So yeah. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, and see you next time. Bye!